Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degree service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. The result is superior performance throughout the equipment life cycle. Performance that puts you ahead of competition. Here we will focus on how to conduct service and maintenance on the standard Alpha Laval LKH centrifugal pump range using our service kits with genuine spare parts. Remember, always read the instruction manual thoroughly to cover all maintenance steps, since this video only shows you some of the steps. To maintain the standard Alpha Laval LKH centrifugal pump range, these tools are required. Each Alpha Laval service kit contains all the spare parts you need. How to change a double mechanical shaft seal and product wetted seals. Begin by removing the two flush connections. Unscrew the nuts and remove the washers. Then remove the back plate. Next, remove the casing o ring from the back plate. Remove the screws and seal housing and then remove the O-rings from the seal arrangement. Remove the stationary seal from the back plate, then remove the O-ring. Lubricate the O-ring and slide it onto the back plate. Lubricate and fit the O-ring on the stationary seal ring. Screw the stationary seal ring into the back plate. Lubricate the O-ring and place it in the rotating seal. Place this onto the seal face of the stationary seal and fit the drive ring into the rotating seal. Place the spring on the seal. Lubricate the O-ring and place this in the secondary rotating seal. Then place this over the spring. Ensure that the driver on the drive ring fits securely into the notch in the rotating seal ring. Lubricate the O-ring and place this on the secondary stationary seal. Next, place this in the flushed house. Lubricate the O-ring and fit it onto the flushed housing.
fit the seal housing on the back plate and tighten the screws. Carefully guide the back plate onto the adapter. Fit the washers and nuts and then tighten them. Fit the flushed connection pipes. Lubricate the impeller hub with silicon grease or oil. Screw the impeller onto the stub shaft. Fit the impeller screw and tighten it. Fit the safety guards and then screw and tighten them. Fit the pump casing, washers and cap nuts. Tighten the cap nuts according to the torque values in the instruction manual. 